As of now, June 2019, this is how Lottie and I have funded our multi-year trips without any social media influence. Traveling with savings is always unsustainable. The first major step to full-time travel is finding a continual income and staying on a budget. Many full-time travelers turn to social platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, YouTube to start traveling. But we began traveling full-time without utilizing any of those online tools. You can be a regular person and not a social media star and earn money on the road. When I first left home, I found a job that allowed me to travel, but with the exchange of working 24 seven. I was tour leading overland trips in Africa and it was an amazing experience. All of my expenses were completely covered and I got to see a lot of the continent. It was an awesome opportunity, but I also had a lot less freedom than a digital nomad does. Lottie approached travel income completely differently. He would purposely seek out jobs abroad in a field that he was interested in learning more about, and that gave him this huge amount of exposure to different trades and in multiple communities. He would rotate working with traveling, which is also not ideal because you're still trapped working to fund your next trip. So realizing this, he began creating these online tutorial videos about everything photography related. So Photoshop, retouching, and then selling all of those videos on his website and check. This gave him much more freedom for travel. Once we decided to live together, van life was clearly the best compromise for cheap, easy, international travel. And we focused on finding jobs that we could do from our laptops. We are currently living and traveling in our self-built camper van, so our cost of living is roughly $1,200 a month as a couple. Van living allows simple and convenient travel. Plus, we can stay comfortable and productive and keeping our expenses low. To cover our costs on the road, I work 15 hours a week teaching English online. I get paid about $22 an hour, and the company I work for is called GoGo Kid. The students are from China, and we video chat through the company's online platform. This job allows me to build my own schedule, which is essential when you're traveling. So how it goes is I'll either take a couple days off or I'll be able to add in more hours if we want to have a thicker paycheck. To access the internet, I buy local SIM cards and I load them up with data. And it's actually really affordable to do if you get a tourist SIM card. I can just hotspot straight from my phone to my laptop and then we use the van as a mobile office. The connection is strong enough with 4G or LTE to be able to have these conversations live and it's been really ideal to be able to be on the move, park, work, and then continue on with our week. To qualify for GoGo Kid, you need to be from either Canada or the US, and you do have to have a four-year degree. It doesn't have to be in teaching, but obviously that's really helpful for them, and so they reward you having that experience by giving you a higher wage per hour. The interview process is pretty quick, and they provide you with all of the materials that you could need. For me, this job isn't a destination job, it's very much transitional, but it has been a total blessing and sustained us for quite some time. I've been working for GoGo -Go Kid for about a year, and one of my favorite aspects of it is the incredible work-life balance. This has allowed us to have these traveling adventures and plenty of time for relaxation while only committing 15 hours a week to work. If you are interested in working for GoGo -Go Kid or learning more about it, just shoot me a private message on Instagram at Curly Hair Camping and I can give you all of the information that I know of and a complete rundown of what the process is like for me. I will leave my code, my referral code at the bottom along with the referral link, which they always give preference to when you're going into the interview. Now that we have our main costs covered, we can focus on the fields that we are most passionate about, which for us has always been photography, videography, and education. This lifestyle has definitely motivated and inspired us, and we've become really excited to share it with anyone who will listen. We've been on the road for years, so now we feel like we have the knowledge to contribute to the online community. We recently discovered that YouTube can be an excellent source of income for anyone who enjoys video creation. Whether we are filming educational videos about full-time travel or DIY projects or informative blogs, 
YouTube is an enjoyable platform to work on. We aren't making a living off of this money, but it's definitely been a nice help. So please don't skip ads on our channel. It rewards us for doing something right. Long-term travel can only work if you're willing to. There's endless opportunities, both online and abroad, and they aren't just in digital marketing. Whether it's working for yourself, or working for others, or a little bit of both, get creative and you'll see the world in no time. Thanks so much for watching. If you're interested to see where we are parked right now and a little bit more about van life lifestyle, make sure to give me a follow on Instagram, at Curly Hair Camping. If you wanna see backstage of videos like this, photography, and more about electric bikes, make sure to give Lottie a follow at Panorama Man. If you have some extra time to spare, look through some of our other videos on the channel. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.